Some of you may remember this reel from a few weeks ago. I serviced it. It is a um, uh, Spidercast reel made by Mitchell, or at least it was on their brand name. And um, I was getting ready to load this thing up and get it ready to go be my boat, one of my boat reels. And I looked at it and I said, you know, we did the service video uh, and this was fully serviced. And I said, you know, this reel just seems to me like it should be a lot. It's a higher quality reel and it just seemed like it's sluggish. And uh, so what I decided I wanted to try is to go in on this one. I had gone back to uh, greasing my axle shafts. And um, it just seems like this takes a lot of effort to turn. And so I decided, well, instead, let's go ahead. Let's go back like I had been previously doing and showing people that um, I was oiling the axle shafts. And so what we're going to do, we're going to take this apart real quick and oil it. And uh, I don't think it's actually going to make it to go fishing today. Robert is due at my house here in about 10 minutes. So I will probably get just enough time to strip the grease off of the axle shaft, oil it and put this back together uh, before he gets here. So let's see how this goes. There we go. Make a nice little handle to grab hold of. Okay. And we'll spin this down until the, uh, Crosswind block is level down here. Here we go. And we're going to take the axle shaft screw out. And pull out the axle shaft. Okay. That does have a little slightly excess grease, but not really too bad. What we're going to do is we're going to wipe that off. like so and we're gonna take ourselves cotton swab and run it through clean all the excess any excess grease off all right now we're gonna go back and instead we're gonna oil this axle shaft And we will give it a slow rotation as it goes in to make sure that it's equally oiled all around. And then we're going to line up the back, back here like so. That slides in. We're going to put the screw back in. Oh, that feels much better. But here's the real test, okay? What do you think? How's that for a difference? Um, I think from now on, my axle shafts are getting oiled instead of greased. So uh, you'll see the, me do the Cardinal here you know, when I get back from my fishing trip today. So the Cardinals. This Cardinal 556 is one of my boat reels and... I started noticing last week that all the rest of the reels performed really well, and this one really performed very, very poorly. And so I got to thinking about it, and this was one of my early uh, servicings. And when I did this one was back when I was servicing the um, reels and greasing the axle shaft. And this reel just doesn't seem to have a whole lot of, I got this line wrapped around it here. Um, it just seems really tight all the time. So um, what I've decided to do is I'm going to pull it back apart real quick and uh, service the uh, axle shaft again. Taking the, yeah, that looks like grease is on the axle shaft. Uh, maybe not. I think that's grease. And uh, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and pop that loose and uh, see what 
see if that's causing the problem. This, this reel just seems very, very sluggish. I noticed that on my spider cast as well, that it was also running very sluggish. So I took the spider cast and you'll see in the video here, I took it and pulled the ax axle shaft out. I removed the grease and oiled it instead. And it vastly, it vastly improved the performance of that reel. So we're gonna see if we can do the same thing to this one. This Cardinal 556 is one of my boat reels. And I started noticing last week that all the rest of the reels performed really well. And this one really performed very, very poorly. And so I got to thinking about it. And this was one of my early uh, servicings. And when I did this one was back when I was servicing the um, reels and greasing the axle shaft. And this reel just doesn't seem to have a whole lot of, I got this line wrapped around here. Um, it just seems really tight all the time. So um, what I've decided to do is I'm going to pull it back apart real quick and uh, service the uh, axle shaft again. Taking the, yeah, that looks like grease is on the axle shaft. Uh, Maybe not. I think that's grease. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and pop that loose and uh, see what, see if that's causing the problem. This, this reel just seems very, very sluggish. I noticed that on my spider cast as well, that it was also running very sluggish. So I took the spider cast and you'll see in the video here, I took it and pulled the Ax axle shaft out, I removed the grease and oiled it instead, and it vastly, it vastly improved the performance of that reel. So we're gonna see if we can do the same thing to this one. Because aside from that, this is a nice little reel, but it just, it just takes so much effort to wind it in. Even if all you've got on it is a piece of shrimp and a weight, it just takes forever, it seems like. And it feels like it's, it's just dragging, like you've got a fish on every time. And it's just such a load on the handle. So we're going to pop it apart real quick. Yank the axle shaft out. See if it's greased or oiled. And uh, see what we can do about improving this performance. And if this proves true as well, actually, I think I've already made up my mind as to what I'm going to do. Um, let's see here. What it's going to take to get this axle shaft out. All right, we're gonna have to remove this arm, set it over to the side. Uh, I think we remove this pin like so, and hopefully, is this a C-clip version? Doesn't look like a C-clip version. See, I've forgotten what I did when I was in here. All right, as sad as I am to say it, I forgot how this actually came apart. This um, crosswind block actually snaps onto the shaft and I had forgotten that. So you can just get down underneath it and pop it up like so and it just snaps off the shaft. I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, but what we're finding here, there's nothing here. This is all nice and smooth. It is greased, it's not oiled. It is greased. Uh, let's go ahead and clean out inside it just a little bit here. And then we're gonna clean out this excess grease off the end here so that it doesn't get sucked up into the shaft housing there. And I'm giving it, but what I did feel is when I'm sliding this axle shaft in and out right here, I feel a grit or something like there's a sharp edge somewhere inside this that is binding. And I'm trying to decide 
what I can do about it. Okay, if there's any side pressure whatsoever, I'm getting a grind inside here. Let's see if I can find where, which end it's on. Feels like it's on this edge right here. So let's see if we can eliminate some of that grind. Well, that's better. This one's already got a heck of a bevel on the end, end of it. Let's file it down just a little bit around it. Okay, let's go the other way. All right, I'm no longer feeling a grind. So, I think I may have found what the problem was with this reel. All right, so let's put the pinion back in. Put the washer back on. Put the rotor back on. Now, we're going to oil the axle shaft, slip it in, start to kind of spin it around a little bit, give it some friction in there, a little bit of lubrication, all right, okay, that feels much better going in and out, okay, let's put our Cross one lock back on, like so. All right, now, see this little lever right here? We've got to line that up with this on the main gear. So we'll set this back in, and we will get that aligned, like so. Okay. We're gonna put this pin back in. Like so. Realign that with this cross wine arm. There we go. Put the bearing back or washer back on. All right, then comes this guy here. He's a little bit of a problem, but not much. I just slip him in over there. Like so. And the pin goes in right here. And we got our bushing. Let's go ahead and put some grease in the bushing. Slip that back down. Let's take the excess grease off. Like so. And I think I need to go get me a rubber band. Okay. I'm going to slap a rubber band on this guy. There we go. I think this one wasn't so much the um, 
grease on the axle shaft as it was the axle shaft having an actual burr inside of actually it wasn't on the axle shaft itself it was on the pinion gear um, but we're going to give this thing a try again put it back out on the boat and see how it does um, it's lubricated properly um, i would really like to see it have bearings but uh it seems to be doing okay not real happy with how well that locks down that's that's just that snap on uh, cross wind block and granted it's not a top of the line reel. i have a sentimental value towards this reel um i bought this reel bought two of them i bought the reels and two rods for me and my son to go fishing with uh geez probably back around 1983 and uh we never actually got to do the fishing trip on it and so yeah the real setter I, we actually did make one trip we fished all day and caught no fish come to find out they had drained the lake two weeks before and taken all the fish out and i didn't know that <laughs> so uh after that i never talked my son into going fishing with me again so anyway uh so that's the cardinal the um the spider cast reel i've already removed the grease off of its axle shaft and put it on the boat and we used it that's the, the reel that was used to uh, catch the 16 and a half inch uh redfish on monday so uh, it performed flawlessly uh works works well and uh, i think from now on anything that's this size or larger is absolutely getting uh, an oiled axle shaft instead of a greased axle shaft. So for now, that's Rick Stavros' Young Martin Drills signing out.